Mr Limbrick. Adjournment matter is for the attention of the Minister for Government Services in relation to the ongoing issues from uh, births, deaths and marriages Victoria. In August last year, I raised the issue of long waits that a constituent had raised with my office. Um, the Minister assured us that the delays were minimal and continuing uh, to reduce in time and that longer waits were caused by the applicant not providing the correct information on application. The Minister stated that staffing increases would continue. But here we are 12 months later and we've had another constituent contact us to stay that, say that she has been waiting for over a month for a copy of her marriage certificate, which she paid express post for. In August 2022, the Minister stated that they had 98 full-time staff and I'd be interested to know, to know if this has increased, considering the backlogs people, people are experiencing. Presumably they're all working from home as the office is still closed. If you look at the Google reviews for births, deaths and marriages, it's pretty grim, and they have a 1.7 star rating. My staff, my staff looked at some recent reviews and not only are people still experiencing long waits for certificates, they are unable to contact anyone at births, deaths and marriages, with many people paying fees for certificates that they do not receive. The reviews include stories of people waiting hours on hold, being hung up on and emails being unanswered. Many people are paying for services they are not receiving and have no ability to fight for a refund as they are still unable to resolve this in person and none of the other points of contact are working. The online system is broken and many applications expire before they can be correctly completed and they've had to pay fees. I'll highlight a couple of cases. One person just this week stating that they paid for a certificate and have been waiting for four months. When trying to address this, they'd been on hold on the telephone for one and a half hours. Another person urgently waiting on a death certificate has, been, has waited on hold for three hours. Customers are asking for a consumer watchdog to be involved. We, know, we need to know why such an essential service is only open from 8am to 2pm and why is the customer service centre still closed? When will, it be re, when will it reopen? Are we paying rent for a building that's permanently closed? My request for the Minister is to reopen the BDM offices immediately and ensure that services are returned to an adequate level. Being a libertarian is sometimes described as like being the only sober person in the car and no one will let you drive. The government is driving us into the dark. 